Since February 17, 2023, our system ranks Alibaba as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.993. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 5.23%. This is an average return of minus 1.74% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Alibaba our last headline reads, Red day on Wednesday for Alibaba stock after losing 0.336%. The Alibaba stock price fell by minus 0.336% on the last day, Wednesday, February 22, 2023, from $95.10 to $94.78. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.5% from a day low at $93.55 to a day high of $95.89. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 10.16% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 5 million shares and in total, 23 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.14 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $125.84, and the lowest price was $58.01. Right now the price is 24.68%, or $31.06, below 52-week high and 70.32%, or $224.54, below all-time high October 27, 2020 where the price hit $319.32. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 30.08% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 30.08% and 77.81%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 7.02% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 40.96% and 17.64%. This equals a price between $55.96 and $111.50 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, January 11, 2023 Barclays set price target to 141. On Tuesday, January 10, 2023 Citigroup set price target to 160. On Monday, January 9, 2023 Morgan Stanley set price target to 150. On Friday, November 18, 2022 Citigroup set price target to 144. On Friday, November 18, 2022 Truist Securities set price target to 120. From analysts Alibaba stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Alibaba. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Alibaba stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $100.73 and $109.30. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, January 26, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 21.39%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 19 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 11 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 10 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 9 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. 
the long-term moving average, by signal 58 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 52 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Alibaba Alibaba finds support from accumulated volume at $90.52 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $2.34 between high and low, or 2.5%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.26%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Alibaba. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Alibaba currently has a price earning ratio of 159.97. This is an extremely high price-to-earnings ratio and could mean that a company's stock is overvalued. These kind of price-to-earnings ratios are typical or tech companies or companies that have extreme market potential. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2022 is expect to be released February 23, 2023. The consensus among the analysts are $1.89. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Alibaba meets first resistance at $103.92. If you do not hold Alibaba shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Alibaba finds first level of support at $90.52 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Alibaba is buy. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Alibaba stock a buy? The Alibaba stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Alibaba will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Thursday 23rd we expect Alibaba to open down dash $0.0385 and start trading at $94.74. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to